Yeah, I'll be damned. Uh, but yeah, so we just acquired uh, the Hildegard 2, or is it 3, right? The airship. Uh, and, you know, we have free reign to kind of go around the whole planet, which is named Gaia, apparently. But look out, the true adversaries come from a planet called Terra, which is apparently just right up there. Uh, this mysterious structure in the pit here, accessible only by airship, is apparently the bridge. Between, uh, you know, um, how's the old saying go? Of, from the darkness of future past, the magician longs to see one chance out between two worlds. Fire, walk with me. No, uh, that's that's something else entirely. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the gist. Uh, Kuja is apparently got beef with some kind of bigger baddie called Garland. Uh, or Garland, which is another Twin Peaks reference. Crazy. Major Garland Briggs. That, whoa, whoa, which is the name of... That's that guy's name. Crazy. Anyway, all coming together, baby. Um, I'm sure right now there's probably a ton of, like, optional stuff we could go do. I'm most interested, actually... And maybe goofing off with the Chocobo game for just a little bit. Just a little bit. I was observing my pal on the platform, Bit Wizard. Because I was thinking uh, earlier today, because he happens to be doing a playthrough of FF9. This dude just goes through mainline FF games, like, over and over again. And he does, like, FF7 challenges and stuff, like, just base equipment, no magic, like, all kinds of crazy stuff. But, uh, he's doing just a casual 9 playthrough, and, uh, I noticed he spends a lot of time collecting the Chocograph items from the Chocobo Woods, doing that minigame, which is apparently just the thing you can grind. You know, so, uh, uh, and there's like, you know, a percent chance of it coming, yeah, Chocograph items. Release the Bracken! My good friend. How are you, pal? Super great to see you. Uh, release the Bracken. Indeed. He's been released. Um, no, welcome in. I'm excited to see you, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, know, I know that chocographs are like... Well, here's this thing. Yeah, open chocograph menu. We got the one for just messing around with it. <laughs> which is like the how-to chocograph. But then we ran off to Burmesia and we didn't look back. <coughs> you know, we either could have kept doing chocograph stuff right then to have the ones related to the areas we would access as the story progressed. But now is a great opportunity to go ahead and just like get what we've been missing so far, which would have been handy, but eh, you know, and, and then be poised to get the rest going forward. Oh, word. OG Animal Crossing, huh? I'm only ever familiar with New Horizons, and I really didn't play it too much. FF7 Remake came out shortly thereafter. And then I started streaming not too long after that, and life took a turn. Death Stranding happened. It was great. Uh, Alright, so we gotta talk to this Moogle Man, right? Check current points. 26. This is a service I offer, Kupo. I'll give you a point for each item you find. Exchange points for items and save up and down. Exchange point. Ooh, we need a shitload. Okay. Damn, this guy operates on like a, uh, 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 you know, pizza party restaurant, arcade ticket, currency rules or whatever. <laughs> hey, Snowmaru, how you doing? Yeah, this is my first time all the way through release uh, FF9, by the way. And uh, just at the end of the last session did I get past uh, uh, the limit of where I've ever gotten to in the game before. Indeed. It's Mr. Carrots, holy moly. Also, follow Snowmaru128 uh, 
it's rowdy over there with the multiplayer games. Ooh, you were getting down on some Civ, uh, some Civ Six. That's fun. Uh, are, are are Dave and the gang getting back into that? I've been missing the Saturday night Civs that they used to do. Uh, and of course, Mr. Kupo, um, carrots. Welcome in, you wascally wabbit. Okay. Play Chocobo, hot and cold. We got a shitload of money. You might as well just, like... How much to just do this all day? <laughs> Alright, move Choco, dig. Oh, word. They've kept the dream They've kept the dream alive. I need to make it a point to get around to the other streams more often. I must confess, I usually just drop in on day. Ale occasionally. Uh, I see fire on. He, I, I usually lurk on him while he's playing like Dyson Sphere Project and stuff. Choco dig. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just just Choco hot and cold. Get you some. Come on, we gotta quay it up. Quay, quay. Oh, we're getting a little warmer. Oh, we we hit it. We nailed it. On the money. Is the music coming through clear? Oh, we're close. We're close. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let's get it. 50 buckaroos. Can we get another? Can we get another? I don't know, yo. Is there a search pattern? Oh, shit. We're on top of it. We're on top. Oh, here it is. We got it. Antidote. Oh, it's gonna be near, isn't it? It's gonna be in like the same area. It is. I knew it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Let's get it. Holy shit! Designation V is raining. Kupo, that's amazing. I'll give you bonus time after four discoveries. Oh shit! We're still in it. Raiders, welcome in. If you have to raid and fade. I can dig it, but we're playing Choco Hot and Cold uh, here in FF9. Thank you for doing the shoutouts, gang. Uh, and thank you for taking care of De Designation V, everybody. I'm your casual internet acquaintance, Negtron00. And we're finishing FF9 for the very first time. Not tonight, I don't think, but uh, I'm definitely in new territory. So yeah, no spoilers or backseat and all that stuff, unless I ask. But I think we're just going to goof off with some Choco hot and cold here for a little bit and get some Chocographs, what do you say? We just unlocked double points. First try. Ten extra seconds with double points? Hot dog. Oh. Oh, we're close. We're so close. Oh, no, we're not going to get the last... Oh, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. We got double points. We found a soft. Well, yeah, we're making... We're, we're doing Chocobo stuff now. All right, we're probably out of luck. Yeah, we're done. Oh, so close. I think you're shouting out the captain. Uh, the judicial greens, 50 bucks, an antidote. We can't carry any more potions. I'm soft. All right, six points. Wait. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> oh man, you running a real scam here, Meanie. That's why they call him Meanie. FF9's going really well. We're at the point where we have the airship for the first time, and it's literally my high water mark. I've never been this far in the game before. Oh yeah, hold on, I need to talk to the Moogle to make the game work. Jokobo, hot and cold, let's go. Yes, actually I would. Absolutely, Mr. Carrots. This is a fair a fair assessment. It's this way. Wait, where is it? Where is it? How can that be? How can it be? How can it be? Oh, I forgot to report the thing. Oh, no. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me with this stuff. Also, I got a phone call at that point. Oh, we got a level four beak now. How about it? 
Hopefully the rest of the finds aren't in that area where shit's complicated. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, come on now. Oh, don't, don't play me. There it is. Wow, this was really deep. Really deep, man. Oh, I don't like it. Wow, we were close. We were close. Ah, uh, yeah, they totally are. Uh, it was an astounding observation from Mr. Carrots. Well, not astounding, astute, I should say, but we should expect nothing less of Mr. Carrots. Beak plus level one. All right, so we basically gotta play this until we get lucky and find a chocograph. Here we go. There we go. Oh, well, <laughs> yay now. All right, wow, all kinds of shit happened. We did it. We did it, everyone, congratulations. Now let's do it like eight more times. Oh, don't tell me these things. There we go. Get one points. That's whack sauce. High drops. Oh, right. I knew it. I, I knew it. Bonus time after four, let's go. Oh, and we're already close to another freaking thing. Maybe. Oh. We were. Work indeed. Work, work, work. Oh. Come on. Come on now. Cheaters. What is a chocograph? It's apparently some kind of legendary thing that when you get it, it shows you a, a, a view of the world map. And if you go there with your chocobo, you can dig at that spot and uh, discover a powerful item, usually. Alright, so... So yeah, cool. We ate a lot of points there, huh? What's this chocograph piece? Can I see, Koopo? I thought they already explained this. It's a fragment of a chocograph, Koopo. There's something carved on the back. It's faded, Koopo. I'll put it in key under your item menu. Take a look, Koopo. Oh, okay. I think you're supposed to collect the pieces until you complete one chocograph. Koopo! Under key... Chocograph piece. A rare item related to chocobos. It's, uh, it's so vague, I love it. There. Danger in the sky. If you dare to face it, use this wreck to find your way. Sid the first. Why would Sid... Why would the Sid line be related to chocobos? Hoopo nut. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on now, hold on. We're already up 61 points, though, so that's going a little bit faster than I was initially worried about. Oh, wait. I think we can only do chocograph stuff outside. Let's go outside. No, we need to find four of them, I guess. Quinoa? Quinoa. You ever seen the David Lynch Cooks Quinoa video? Amazing. I guess we gotta find four of them? Hmm. Uh, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, treat yourself. It's like five minutes or like three minutes of wonderful. <laughs> Just keep thinking about all those little quinoas. Also, come on. How are you gonna do me like this? Holy 
moly, it's a small hitbox. There it is. Anointment. <laughs> I tell you what's anointmenting. My mom. <laughs> me like this twice there it is god because i feel like the hot and cold radius is a is not a circle <laughs> sometimes i think it's shaped like an amoeba you can have like quay exclamation points like way out away from it from the nucleus i think so <laughs> i think so and you know what, Mr. Carrots? I think maybe we should uh, DM about this. <laughs> I think maybe we can make this happen. <laughs> no way, Jose. Oh, come on. It'll be great. We can do it. I mean, uh, yeah, I can do it. I can figure out how to get Mr. Lynch on your program. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm not your average grifter. <laughs> like, unlike Mene, the fucking Moogle over here charged me 60 bucks to use my own chocobo to dig around this yard. This is even your yard, Mene. Meanie. Oh, fuck. There it is. Oh, all right, landed it. Oh, let's get it. Aha! You give me bonus time. Double, thank you. Thank you. Maybe I can find another thing. Maybe I can find it. 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 Oh! Oh shit! Oh, I got it! Yes! Last second! <laughs> That's a damn fine Koopo coffee. Cup of Koopo. Yeah, he would literally erase my head. He does that sort of thing. Alright, everybody do the clappy clappy music. Can you believe it? It's Koopo once again. David Lynch as a Moogle. Come on. You gotta do this to me. There it is. <laughs> There's always gotta be annoyment. Ah, uh, this was really deep. It better be a chocograph piece. It better be... Yo! Oh. I, I don't know what I skipped. Alright, one more. and Let's get us some bonus time. Bonus time. Bonus time. Bonus time. I think I'm learning the strat. There we go, bonus time. Nice. Oh, we got another extra one. Let's let's go. Oh, all kinds of shit's happening. I don't even know. I, I'm like, you know, in the mode to play the mini game very efficiently, but that's also the mode to skip the shit out of the dialogue boxes. <clears throat> Indie Punk, I can buy an entire sandwich. The Quelephant Man, directed by uh, David Lynch. I can't think of a Final Fantasy related ism to apply to his name. I invite you, chat, to do so and uh, outsmart me. Jeez, look at that. 32 points. We went up two beak levels. I don't even know what that means. We got 101 points. That's a Dalmatian's amount of points. Holy smokes, let's blow it on 10 Jistle Green. Uh, 
I mean, like, it's really only the top four things that are of any interest whatsoever. And they're all holy shit expensive. Thanks for the lurks and thanks for the raid designation, V. Appreciate you. I'll be doing this for a little while. I'm kind of fixated on it. Quika game. Hmm? Quake, Quake, Quika? Like, you know, like the Squeaka game. Come on. Where are you, you son of a buck? There you go. 50 buckaroonies. What do you know, Mene? Oh, there it is. 200 buckaroonies. I do love my buckaroonies. Oh man, everything's down here. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Indeed. It's a good game. <clears throat> I've managed to break free of its spell, however, I think. I proved myself right that I could stop at any time. Stop at any time, man. He said while relentlessly pecking at the ground while saying, Que? I guess I'm not saying that. Ooh, you get a bonus for getting one within five seconds of the other, I guess. You're just making up these rules as we go, aren't you, Mene? Mayonnaise, the Moogle. Right. Doing okay this time. Boy, I'm scared. Oh. Oh. Found it. Oh, it's deep as shit. Hold on, we're running out of time. Hurry up. Hurry up. We're running out of time. Oh, God, we got it. We got the rising sun? What the fuck is that? All right. I'm scared. Better save. <laughs> Hey, you know, I was saying that, uh, it is, <laughs> there was a town in New Orleans, oh wait, no, it's a place in New Orleans, New Orleans is the town, listen, I didn't write the song or sing it, there's the object, <laughs> anybody been to New Orleans, I, I have been to New Orleans, uh, lived there for a little while, even. It's cool. Uh, so, what is it? What does it do? Do we, oh, hold on, it, okay. Oh, it's one of these fucking things. An incredibly powerful shuriken, essentially. Well, I'm less excited. I'm not gonna go outside and save. It's gonna... Keep on rolling. Mm hmm Oh. Off to a good start here. We're off to I said we're off to a good start here. Damn it, I must... <laughs> uh, 60 freaking gil this cost me.
Oh, that would have been a chocograph piece. <laughs> uh, oh, Dark Souls memory unlocked. I see what you're talking about. Pinwheel rules. Uh, I love that character design. can do it. I like how the chocobo detects things by sonar, apparently. Or, what's or for anyway, really? I'll allow backseating and spoilers for that, I guess. Whatever. Seems like an incredibly useless item, but you get a lot of it. And, like, it seems to be valued in terms of game economy. Come on. Come on. There it is. Well, at least we made our money back. Oh, more time. Yay. Not enough time. Unless. Oh. I'll take it. I still haven't gotten another chocograph piece, which is unfortunate. I think I was in the middle of digging one up, but then it, uh, you know, the time ran out. We're a level 9 beak now. Landed right on it. In five seconds for discoveries. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's very deep. At least the music's hype. I mean... Seems like a lot of hubbub. Getting the chocograph pieces. Choco. There we go. Come on. Damn it. Ooh, that was a terrible one. Shit. Now we're starting out pretty good.
Come on, quick. Come on, quick. Damn it. This is no fair. Quay, indeed. How you doing, Ilt? I'm suffering through... Oh, God. We don't have the time. Okay. Whew. Really? Just a high potion? All that intrigue? Well, yeah, we're grinding away on this for a little bit. I think I'm going to stop soon, though. I was hoping the payoff would be a little bit faster. Spent three hours making chili. That was three hours well spent, in my estimation. Hell yeah. Come on, there we go. Choker graph, no. Curse you. Curse you, game. Oh, double and triple curse you. Okay, well that's just like... Mean. You gotta give me a... A wider range on my detection here. What the hell? Oh, okay, well there you go. We're at level 10 beak. That's helping us any. Ooh, got it just in time. Ooh, super just in time. Not that we're gonna get another one out of this or nothing. Yeah, we're done. Oi. How many points do we got all together here? 192. Ah, I'll tell you what, let's do it one more time. Got one. What's up, Retro Ghost? It's FF9 time tonight. What was the rest of your stream earlier? I was lurking in my workshop doing stuff. I'm on this, the hunt for the elusive chocograph pieces here in the uh, chocobo digging game. I've only found one, and uh, you know it's been like just an hour. I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna do this. It's silly. You know, or either that or my luck is just profoundly bad. Also, I get into this situation a lot where you dig forever. When you're, when you're when you're warm or hot even, but you just like manage to perfectly outline the uh, hit box of where the target is. There we go. I feel like uh, I have like as as uh, efficient a search pattern as I can muster. Oh, almost found another one. Finished the game? Sweet. Uh, that was uh, <clears throat> Final Fantasy II, I believe, right? Yes, indeed. Get some shout-outs from my pals. Oh, it was three, that's right. My brain blends together two and three, so it's hard to, like call them but yeah I remember you starting out with the onion knights all right one last time I guess come on come on Once again, <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is awful. I'm outlining the hitbox so clearly. And it's like, I'm trying to pay attention to where I'm stabbing, but like, it really doesn't seem to like... ...matter much. Hey, buddy. Now, I swear this one had... What the fuck? That's crazy. It had the full hot signal, but then it vanished. That's weird. Do they move a little bit? <laughs> Almost feel like they're dodging me. So in our detection bird. Is this what it, is this what we're looking for? It is. Wow, that took forever. <laughs> it took like an hour to get two, and I think you need to get four uh, in order to do anything with them. Oh man, you know what? The one mod I would do to FF9 more than anything is to make the hitbox for this thing just a smidgeru bigger, just a teensy little bit. Ugh. I say. Uh, nothing. Uh, there, danger in the sky. If you dare to face you, it's where you can find your way. Upper left piece of a chocograph. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I found another one, though. Let's, that's the one that it said before. And this guy ain't saying nothing about it. All right, well, that, it turned out to be a bust. What do you know? Oh, wait, here, take a look at a chocograph. Oh, we did find another one. Uh, go look near the mountains facing the ocean on the southwest side of the mist continent. Alright, let's go. I forgot you had to ch talk. Chalk. Chalk to the Tokobo. Alright, what did that say to the southwest side? Yeah, southwest. It's, uh here somewhere. Well, here it is. This is it right here. Whammo. Whamma lamb. Quack. Quack. But like where in this image I mean I presume it would be centered oh, Here we go We're getting warmer Is that it or was that the music Oh here it is We struck pay dirt Hell yeah, Dragon Rider Luke, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. We found five potions we can't carry. Five high potions is okay. Two tents is okay. Two cotton robes would have been nice a lot earlier. Wow. <laughs> but welcome in. <clears throat> welcome back to FF9. Raiders, thanks for taking care. Dragon Rider Luke. And uh, coming in. We, we were just... Um, what do you call it? Chocographing. Playing a lot of Chocobo Hot and Cold. Uh, 
But I think I've just about had it <clears throat> with that. So we're going to get on with some plot while I still have the time. But thanks for the raid once again. Uh, let's see here. Right. So to what's this place called? Castle what have you? Ibsen's Castle. That's right. La 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 Oh, I, I nailed it. The high altitude landing to flex. <laughs> All right, you little moogle, let's set up the tent. Might as well use one of the two we got out of that chest. Give it a save, and I guess it's time to progress. It was oddly satisfying, though. If I find a, an opportunity to do that at the tail end of things, I might round upstream on that note because it's a way I can like end the game when I want to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is this the old castle Hilda told us about? Oh yeah, the infidelity plot resolved last session. Uh, between Sid and Hilda. What a strange looking place. Like it's upside down or something. Well, at least the bottom half of it is. Uh... Alright, I'll take three of you with me. The rest of you secure this spot. That's us. He's a Dane. What's up, Amaranth? I work alone. Always have, always will. Nah, don't start this, Amaranth. You've been at the party for some reason for this long. I don't know why you bother carrying dead weight all the time. What's your point? saying working alone beats working in a team any day. I'm going to prove it. Hilda said there's some key here to break the seal, am I right? Yeah. Let's see who finds it first. I'll be going by myself, of course. This guy's just Spike from Cowboy Bebop. Amaranth, or Amaranth, you selfish, ignorant fool. I'm down, Rusty. But, but. Now you go ahead. Okay. I don't know where you're thinking, but if that's what you want, it's okay by me. Well, aren't you an agreeable fellow? See you later. Are you sure about this, Zidane? What can I do? I can't change the way he thinks. Let's get going, everyone. Uh, we'll beat Amaranth at his own game. And by that, I mean we're going to chill right here and let him go find the thing. <laughs> that would totally be my move. It'd be like 20 hours later. You all right, Amaranth? Oh, don't worry. I'm try. I'm going to try. I'm going to find it right now. Better. You better hurry. <laughs> all right. Um... Let's think about party composition going forward. Heals are important and not really viable using items. High potions even don't recover enough HP to really be an effective healing uh, tool. So we rely on magic. Kina has white wind, right enough, but if Kina... Well... I think it costs a lot of MP to use. I'm not sure. Either way. Dagger has summons and 
healing magic and life magic, which is really important. And then there's Vivi, who packs a punch. Some of the hardest hitting uh, attacks in the game so far. Ray is kind of middling, you know. She's got her dragon abilities, which are pretty neat, but, you know, she, she kind of falls in the same situation as Kina does, more or less. Uh, Steiner can be interchanged with Vivi or synergized with Vivi, and Iko and Dagger are essentially... Flip sides too. So wow, okay. So it's like when picking Kina, don't also bring Freya. When picking Dagger, don't also bring Ico. <clears throat> uh but the exception to that rule is if bringing Vivi or Steiner, feel free to bring the other one too. Because Steiner gets the sword magic ability. And Vivi is in the party. But in order to achieve that, we would have to knock out a, a healer. We'll go with the current party composition. See if we can feed Kina anything interesting. This is pretty good. Put on that judo uniform, Kina. Awesome. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. We were dealing with wind magic before, but it's really not such a concern anymore. Uh. Okay. Well, we gotta learn Bahamut. We almost learned healer for whatever. Oh. I guess. This is water elemental attack. Oh, she has right. She has auto regen, which is nice. He's still learning a bunch of magic, including Osmos. We could change out the fairy earrings for something else. Hmm. Oh. Whoa, the ribbon. Oh, okay. We would have to give this to Ico, I think. I guess other boots it is. And uh making sure we got everything going for Kina here. Ooh, we haven't. That's right. We have another golden hairpin. Forgot about that. Bam. Lovely, lovely it is. I mean, it might be lovely. We really don't have the ability points to uh to uh, uh apply to it, but. We'll see, though. Uh, we'll take off add status. Don't need that. Nice not to go confusion. 
Three off. And we need four more points. Locomotion it is. All right. Auto regen we have. Perfect. All right. Making sure we're all squared away with the rest. We got three points for... <laughs> we have three points for Zidane here. Let's see about that accuracy. All right. Cool. We go outside? Yeah. Uh, well, we ended up doing a lot of management there, so we better save again. <laughs> I'm a frequent saver. I hate, like, the only thing worse than getting a game over in a JRPG is getting a game over and forgetting that you did, like, 10 minutes of inventory management after your last save, and it's like... Oh, Lord. All right. So, you know what? Let's catch a random encounter out here in the field. You know, because uh, if we get trounced in the field, it might be a good idea to, like, not do this yet. Hey, Zykeeks. This is my first complete playthrough. I'm finally in in new territory for me, Zykeeks. Oh, shit. It's the goddamn... Baba Yaga house again. All right, let's, uh... Stole a high potion. Delightful. If I'm remem remembering uh, uh, properly here, uh, this enemy cannot... kill us. This is your favorite FF? Frequently cited as a favorite FF. I certainly see that. In terms of presentation, it's it's top notch. It's really great. Like I love how everything looks. Uh, I have some gripes with the battle system, and you know, I guess the narrative isn't is as touching to me as it has been to many. But you know, the narrative is the fault against it. You know, it's, it's not the story's fault that I'm not as into it as say FF6's story. Uh, but uh, no, it, it's great though. I'm really enjoying it. Those 16 may have changed that, really? Wow. Mm, Kina, you're not hitting too hard. What's the deal? But he follows Zykeeks. He's a rad guy. An old friend of the channel, as we say. I still haven't played 16 either. I haven't even bought it. Not that I'm not interested. It's just, uh, you know, I had to commit to what I was able to commit to. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, I feel like we're probably okay to go in. Catch another level, VV. Call the Moogle. Woo -woo. Oh yeah. Oh okay. So you're like, uh, like, from like a, uh, like a. Objective standpoint, Final Fantasy VI is superior, but this was just your fave. I mean, I, I mean, there's arguments to be made, uh, and <laughs> many of which I'm intensely familiar with now. That because uh, yesterday, all day long, well, not all, you know, I listened to like a what was it, a five and a half hour long FF6 retrospective video on YouTube, which was amazing. I was engaged the whole time because doing everything in this game is a pain in the ass. Well. Yeah, hundred percent completion. I I don't do that for any Final Fantasy. Uh, closest I've come is remake for with the platinum trophy. Did we use the tent? I think we did.
I will say I like Triple Triad better than Tetra Master when it comes to the card games. This seems to be a universal sentiment even among those who enjoy Final Fantasy games. Or uh, Final Fantasy IX, rather. Wow, that's high praise. Especially when you're assessing it in terms that I can groove on uh, regarding the FF6 assessment you have. I've never actually played Chrono Cross beyond like the first five minutes of it when I rented it once and for some reason didn't play it. And I do want to play Chrono Cross. Sorry? Oh, not Chrono Cross. You mean Chrono Trigger? In which case, I have played, played the hell out of some Chrono Trigger. But welcome to Ibsen's Castle. We found the Aquarius. The fuck is an Aquarius? Wait, that, oh, it's a Zodiac thing, right? Yeah, there we go. Rare item received in Ibsen's Castle. One of the many Stellazio in the world. Aquarius uh, Slate. Yeah, save one. Who kissed Virgo? I don't know. I don't know who kissed me. It was my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, great. The opportunity to save again. Oh, you have a shop. Also, Kamul. Do I have mail for you? I do have mail for you, Kamul. Would you like it? A letter, Kupo. How unusual. I'm so happy, Kupo. From Maki to Kamul. Hey, Kamul, how are you, Kupo? Us Moogles and Lindblom are all wondering the same thing these days. Where the heck is Magnet Central? No one knows, Kupo. Do you know where it is, Kamul? It's supposedly very far away. You can't enter very easily, Kupo. The, like, post office subplot in this game is crazy. Uh, <laughs> I heard that you can't enter Magnet Central unless you're riding a chocobo, Kupo. Hmm. What an interesting fact. Wow, you sell old weapons. And Rising Suns? Wait, I made a big deal out of finding one of these. And it was only worth 500 fucking gil? That's... Fine. Uh, well, it's definitely the opportunity to get some stuff that you might not have. Instances and Kai armlets seem like they're probably good buys. Pay closer attention to what's being offered here. <laughs> oh, yeah, water attack goes up for BV for sure. Yeah. We got one of these. It'd be nice to have two. This is new. Snag one. Power vests. Ooh, these are expensive. I'll take two of them now. Uh, Demon's mail. Pretty cool. I already have one though. All right, uh, all right, that'll do. Um, I mean, just like aesthetically, or, but yeah, I figured they were, I, I figured they were consumable. Uh, let's see here. All right, so yeah, feather boots, get out of here. Gold, not gold choker. Uh, wait, where'd it go? Oh wait, never mind. Feather boots, stay in. Ugh. Still learning death. But will I ever actually use it? Probably not. Osmos, maybe. Power vest. Really not that good for her. Go keep the magician robe on. For him, however, it's time to put on that power vest. 
stone killer, that might be a good idea. And we'll shade the judo uniform for a power vest for Nina also. Excellent. Uh, I think we're going to want to do a different... A bit. We're going to want to probably put on stone killer. Uh... For, for our pal Zidane here. Two points left. What did we put it on? What did we put it on, huh? Undead killer. All right. We'll adjust it if we run into certain stuff. It's Kina's <laughs> Kina rules. I like Kina a lot. I just wish they, like, gave Kina more of a plot. Don't spoil it if it turns out there is. I'm unspoiled going forward. Like a brand new baby Final Fantasy player. I'm excited. This is all new to me. I certainly wasn't expecting that. Also, I want to say that the game looks a little bit dark. Especially in pause. <laughs> Let me brighten that up a little bit. Not by much. Just a tiny bit. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, can we eat them? Also, wow, that hit pretty hard. Flame, huh? Ooh, I bet you we learned that. Let's do... Where's White Wind? There it is. What did Zidane steal? I missed it. Come on, White Wind. How much does this cure? I can't remember. A fair amount. Oh shit, Kina, are you okay? I like Kimari. People give him a hard time. Cerberus. Phoebe, are you okay? I didn't seem to hurt you that much. Can't eat until weaker. Now let's hit it with fear and see what happens. Stole a ten. He's been doing crazy damage basically the entire game. It's just a shame that you spent so much time stealing with him. Oh, Vivi, you gonna be okay? Yeah, you're fine. You keep trying to eat dagger this time, you cure, buddy. Keep trying to eat the Cerberus. You can do it, Kina. And it. Oh yeah, I know. I've been benefiting from it. It just takes so long. Like, I wish I wasn't trading off his damage per turn potential for uh for uh, uh for him to steal. Just use Freya to one shot everybody. Wonder what does that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Uh, also, I guess we can cast Cure on just the Dane. Keep stealing. Still too strong to eat. I guess we could learn Scan and maybe streamline this process a little bit. 
same time, uh. <laughs> Like for real though, four items? That's nutty. Yeah, I didn't think we even dealt any damage in that round, but it's okay. Ooh, she dodges it. She dodges it! We got dots in here. <laughs> Come on, Zidane. Wait, didn't I get something that makes it easier to steal? Can't remember. Eat it up, yum. All right. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Damn, I'm about to go outside and save. Or no, there's that Moogle right there. Holy shit. Auto life? That's really good. Wow. Hey, you Moogle, did you see that shit? You fucking found auto life through dumb luck. Yeah. No kidding. We ate a Cerberus. Arkina did, anyway. <laughs> Should've seen it. It was fucking a nightmare to watch, but, you know. <laughs> through hardship comes growth, I guess. Uh, well, we win the game now. <laughs> that That gets you through gimmick shit, like... And bosses that kill you after you kill them. Alright, let's see. Let's wait. Oh, no. I wanted to go up. Zidane, I'm going to need you to monkey on up one of these chains. No, you refuse? How dare you. Well, that was totally worth eating the Cerberus. Cerberus. Oh, shit. Stone killer. See? I know I was going to need that. Who the fuck is that guy? You got a gargoyle and a Gary. Is a gargoyle and a Gary? <laughs> Alright. Also, how much does that cost to cast? Only 14? Fuck it. Uh, Dagger, you live. Alright, let's hit the... Oh, let's hit the gargoyle with water. Let's let Zidane... Hit the gargoyle, because he has stone killer, he should just work. Ouch. The VV trance, ah shit. Yeah. Also try to eat the gargoyle. <laughs> oh shit, I only did 70? Cripes. Alright, well, Stone Killer didn't help. Did I quit Stone Killer? In any case, it's not uh, it's not working. Alright, so let's fuck up the other dude instead. I'm gonna hit him with bio. And also water. Get you some of Gary. This will steal from it now. I know can eat till waker. Just straight up, I'm not gonna eat that guy. <laughs> All right, fair enough, Kina. Oh, he's he's alive. Time to fuck him up. Oof. All right, now try to eat the gargoyle. 
While he's awake, he should be susceptible. Yeah, there we go. Now we're fucking him up. Hit him, Zidane. Hit him. He's still up. What's up, Spooky Hunt? Let me kill this Gary's guy. Still not edible. Uh oh, bio. Oof. We're really not in too much, uh, Danger here. How gradual is it? Not at all, actually, probably. Look him up, Vivi. Or whatever you do. Hey, okay, it fell. Alright, hopefully we can eat it. Not weak enough. Dagger, let's cast Stona on King. Ouch. Oh, well. <laughs> so much for that tactic. Well, let's see. Hopefully, we can pass this on Dagger before Kina gets all stoned. Yes! Then Kina will get stoned. Oh man, we're out of freaking uh, magic points here. There we go. Oh, she needs orders. That's what happened. All right. Wake up. Are you hungry, Kina? I don't know if soft works before uh, it actually takes full effect. Oh, tastes bad. We finally ate it. Alright, that's cool, though. Good job, Kina. It tastes like rocks. <laughs> Shout out, pal. Welcome in. Evie knows comment. Ragtimer. I don't even know what that means. Hey, what's up, KNOSO85? Good to see ya. VV themselves. <laughs> Good to see ya. <laughs> Everything has the title screen music now. Wait. Oh shit, can we eat it? Alright. The Veteran. I just wondered why this thing has the name Veteran. Also, get blasted, dagger. Let's try stopping it. Totally worked. All right. Hi, potion. Woo. Yeah, a dagger cut her hair in one swipe with a dagger, like the eponymous dagger even, and pretty impressive to be honest that she could get such a clean cut. 
hair is more resilient than you think it would be. I was like, did that heal it? That was just, uh... The party's regen effects. Let's poke it with a fork. You stole an ether, hooray. Maybe fire? Uh... Any elemental weaknesses? Ooh, that did better than Thundera, I think. It was a powerful scene. Uh, I guess we can start trying to eat it. Uh, will Blizzard be better than Fyra? I'm testing out defenses. More effective. Couldn't steal, come on, Zidane. How much did Thundera do? It was like 800 for Fire, 900 for Blizzard. I think it was like 300 for Thunder. It's true. <laughs> and he's also incredibly heavy hitting. It's, it's a little bit... I've always found that to be a bit of dissonance. Yeah, the lightning is trash against him. And then, like, every enemy has up to four items. Boss enemies have items. It's crazy. Like, way too much stealing. Or at least give me a second character who can steal, like I thought there was going to be, like in the beginning, there was like a shitload of character. Like, everybody in Tantalus knows the steal ability. I was like, oh, this is going to be more of a ubiquitous thing now. Like, Zidane should have taught it to Dagger. There could have been a whole plot around it. Hold on. Eat him up, Kina. Gotta be weak enough by now. miss out on eating it if it takes so long. Alright, fine. I'll hit it with Lizara again. Gotta taste them all. Monsters. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I think there's like a ladder here we can go up. Yeah, now we're talking. What the? Uh... Alright. to deal with this upside down castle anyway I've been like uh, concerning myself mostly over eating the things that are to be found here yeah we're shaking the whole place down <laughs> okay uh, it's just a jump to the left let's go to the right find a javelin 
Well, let's let's t and then a, and indeed a, and then a step to the right. A broadsword. PDT toot toot. This is like a MC Escher castle. Whoa. Something about getting to the top or bottom of ladders. <laughs> also like to rename Garnet to Garnet out of spite. That's the thing. That's the thing. Oh good, here we are. Got a rod. Goodness. You know, a mechanic that I thought they would uh, emphasize a little bit more of was uh, the synthesis shop. Although I guess I could have went to the synthesis shop last time I was in Lindblom, but I just bailed. Oh, hey, Amaranth. <laughs> we beelined straight to him. It's incredible. It's like I knew where I was going. You late, Satane. I'm the winner. Yeah, I know. I was totally letting you do it, you dork. See how much time you lose by working with others. I've heard of that, uh, KNOSO. Figured out how to break the seal? Take a look at that wall. Maybe you can figure it out. So no, then, but it's no longer my concern. That's very convenient, Amaran. I proved myself right. I don't need to follow you around anymore. All right. Maybe enemies next time we meet. See ya. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> You might have. I have heard something to that effect. It's his way. We can't change him. Anyway, one less party member to manage. Let's get going. <laughs> Whoa. All right. What we got here? We got... Uh, my power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. <coughs> oh, boy. Let's see, this one too. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. Hmm. Alright, yeah, nobody's nobody's gonna mind if I just take these, right? My power is protected behind a tornado. <laughs> About that. That means this one too. My power is protected under the shaking ground. This is like a world map we're seeing here, and these medallion positions correspond to different places. The one on the far left here is closest to where our, our current position is, and none are on the Mist Continent. Alright, nothing else to poke at up here? Oh. Oh shit, it's this thing again. Alright, well, let's see how quick we can kill it. Do you, you think it's susceptible to its own doom? I'll try. It's because it's fun. Bam, 5k. VB be hitting hard. Also, his water attack power is improved with the golden hairpin. Look at yourself. And enjoy your impending I didn't think it would. It was just like one of those things. Maybe it's a counterintuitive thing. Also, maybe Comet will hit this time. I don't think I've ever successfully connected with the Comet spell. and I'm a little upset about it. Shit, they stopped Kina. Is there anything for that? I'm 
Doing two hundy. Ouch. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Did Comet even hit? Shh. Sounds like it might be fun. Nice. Counter attack. Oof, that's a low amount of uh, damage. But we finished the job. <laughs> We finally learned water. Well, permanently. Ah, uh, see. Never did finish learning sleep, so I guess we can do that. Nothing better. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, everyone's here. How you doing, Baked and Living? It's doing just fine, is the FF9. We just learned auto life with uh, Kina. We ate a Cerberus. Cerebus. Cerberus. <laughs> well, looks like we got what we came here for. Yeah, let's go. We were staring at that mirror for a long time. Anything interesting? Like Hilda said, those things on the wall must have something to do with the seal. Let's think about that later. We need to get out. Here, return to... Who's there? Oh, shit. Energy flow interrupted energy to Terra. You dare get in the way of Terra's master plan? <laughs> what is this? My name is Taharka. Return my mirrors. Say please when you ask for things. Fool! You'll regret this. Oh shit, it's like a Animalicaris. Alright, well. At least I ethered Vivi before this. Okay. Ew, everybody else is looking pretty bad. Steal from it! No oh boy, an elixir. Vivi. Hit it with water. Uh, let's do... Oh, we're shy of Mighty Guard. That's terrible. Alright, let's start etherizing then. No sense not. Curl. Compact. Alright. Also, I didn't see how much damage that water spell did. Too busy looking at other stuff. Maybe we can poison it. We'll do like bio. There's bio. There it is. Da 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 da. Wawa wawa wawa. I'm always like wanting to try to do a status on a boss, you know? Yeah. Tell you what, let's bring in Bahamut before Dagger gets beaten to smithereens. <laughs> <coughs> like Aunt May. Alright. Pay attention this time. Also, Bahamut, let's take a look. Oh shit, here he comes. The whole rushing down to earth thing.
Oh shit. <laughs> Everybody look out, it's time for pictures taken instantaneously. I am a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Please, everybody, get ready for an instant memory and type into the chat, please, fuzzy mega flares. I'm gonna have to just catch the very ass end of this explosion. <laughs> hey, what's up, Deuteronomy? All right, everybody, get ready for the screen grab, redeem. Uh, okay, there's Drake Lair. It's going once, it's going twice. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I got it. Thank you, Drake Alaire. And thank y'all for, for coming on in to the program. This is definitely a fuzzy mega flare if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Uh, and today, I believe, is the 27th. Yes, Blair. 11-27-2023. Appreciate you for the redeem. This is a Discord gimmick. You can see them there. There's over a thousand of them, so you can see them chronologically posted there on their own channel. Or else randomly on my standby screens. But we, uh, you know, we plan the charity events there under the name PSI Hope. And I uh, hope you would join us in our efforts to raise money for good causes by playing the video games on the internet. But, but thank you so much, Draco Lair. Also, let's get you that shouty. Why not? And also, of course, our good friend, Deronime. Uh, 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 there we go. Bam, we explode him. Alright, that did 37, Hundy. Who can't steal? Level 4 Holy, I wonder. Let's see. Let's try it. Hopefully it's a multiple of 4. Okay, yeah, that definitely hit harder than Bio. Um... See here. We... Will it damage the boss? Fuck. Nope. Alright. Uh, ether. BV. Hitting it with water. Comes to Zaga. This should be fine, right? Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too, not too, too bad. We stole the Mithril Claws. Uh, our mighty guard wore off, which is like pure crap. Let's auto life on dagger. Almost forgot to use that. The game's going great. Cruising along, accidentally like beeline straight through a dungeon to the very end, uh, which was a good thing, I guess. Zaga. They said everybody with it. Still got stuff to steal. I'm so <laughs> tempted to try eating it. Uh, let's just attack it. Okay, that didn't do any good. Seems to only be weak against magic type stuff anyway. Oh, now it's compact, like as if now it's even has even higher defense somehow. Um, well, Matra magic. Yeah, it worked. 
Uh, go ahead and ether Kina. Keep stealing. Don't stop stealing. Yeah, right? I'm gonna go through, be systematic. And they're like, whoops, that was a little too systematic, I guess. Accidentally solved the dungeon. Uh, well, let's go ahead and keep hitting it with a thousand needles. That seems fun. What's night do? I was asleep. Yep. Chop. Counter Oh, are you kidding me? He had like less Oh, I thought I thought the fight ended with that with that one thirty-nine HP hit. I was like, wow, that's incredible. But it did end with a thousand needles. Well done, Kena. Kena rocks. Good auto float. Now the whole game's broke open. One is all. All is one. Oh shit, it's one of the theme musketeers or whatever. You'll never break the seal. Whoa, okay. He faded out of reality, weird. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Not gonna acknowledge that. Alright, um... I don't remember which way I came from, really. Things just went way too well. This is strange. Let's examine. Rub your nose on it. Uh, let's give it a push. Uh, let's give it an examine. Rub your nose. Let's, uh, let's pound on it. Give it a think. Nah, uh, not that. Uh, let's hit it some more. This is perfect. Nose rub it. Give it a push. Try something drastic. Let's get drastic. Yeah, fly kick it. Fly kick it again. I'm gonna take three times. Roll of threes. They're not counting on me doing this. Yeah. One more time. One and a two and a three. Now we rest. There we go. See, we loosened it up. All right. A barrette. Sounds like something for, uh, Garnet, maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh. We already had one of those. Damn it. Thanks, game. Out of here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I went this way. I mean, I guess I should have figured, because I did, like, go, like, instantly all the way up. Wait, no. Damn it. Okay, fine. Oh, wait, there we go. That's how you do it.
Uh, in here, yes. Aha! Finding my way out. Can I just jump down onto that? I mean, it seemed like it would be so easy from here to just hop right down. No, okay. <laughs> hey, Captain, thank you for hanging out. Have yourself a good night. Oh, hey, everyone. Oh, shit, Vivi. Hey, are you okay? Good shout out for the captain. He's a great guy. Please follow him and please do check out his SoundCloud. Yeah, that was scary. Maybe we activated the traps when we reached the top. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go. They're waiting for us outside. Google. Thank God. Get this tent. We should get another opportunity to save. I'm scared though. We got less than half an hour left until like I absolutely positively must shut down. Yeah, like I totally just like went straight in that door there. Wait, you're kidding me. Oh, son of a bee. There was just a way to just... I didn't even... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, what about this? <laughs> Amazing. Oh, there's another treasure. Air racket. Wait, we already have one of those. I swear. Oh, this combo again. I hated it. But then we were trying to eat everything. We can probably deal with things much, much faster now. <laughs> been, oh no! Oh, he woke up the gargoyle already. Oh. Forgot you can hit multiple enemies with your attack spells. Alright, yeah, definitely gonna be using Thousand Needles. are hollering. Because <laughs> she's regen and poisoned, so it's just breaking even.
Got him. Tina's a millionaire. Damn, you get a lot of experience for that fight. Holy moly. It really wasn't trouble at all. Trouble at all. What the uh, H? This place seems significant. <laughs> oh no, there's alien xenomorph eggs in here. That's trouble. Golem's flute. Wow. What's this? Okay. Obviously. Pick it up and put it over there. Obviously. Sure. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> Jillionaire, the old bottle cannot be taken away without its content. be able to move them though like I can understand having to find something to put into them but why would you have to move them I feel like I need to find another one and bring it here but then why would you be able to move them around huh the plot thinnens. Hmm. You know, they let me poke and prod at that other wall all the live long day. flute or whatever. I hear it. Oh, it's because, yeah, I got a second one. Okay. Hmm. Welp. Don't know. Well, I'm still missing a ton of treasure, so I guess we can start with that. Uh... Oh! Oh! Hey. Oh, I see now. Haha! -ha. Well, that's how you get to that treasure box anyway. It'll be the one in the middle. Uh, uh, this one. Oh, I thought I could see the holes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the one. Maiden prayer. Huh. What is 
this? Raises holy elemental attack. Hey, what's up, Scarecrow? I hope you're doing well. Alright, so that's how that works. Uh, we're exploring this strange castle. Oh, we never did go up the pole here. Really me. Oops. So, I wonder why there was a basic set of equipment for everybody here. Like, everybody's most basic weapon is to be found in this dungeon, which seems strange, to say the least. Make some food for work tomorrow. Well, that seems pragmatic. I'm doing good. Uh, we ate one of these earlier and learned the auto life ability, which seems really, really uh, good. If you use basic equipment, you do more damage? Like... Like it has the highest attack power? That seems, that seems crazy. That seems crazy. It's insane. Oops. Didn't mean to attack with Vivi. Wow, well, Vivi actually hit pretty hard. <laughs> I was unaware of this gimmick. I was unaware of this gimmick. No wonder. No wonder. Welcome in Kalu Crow and Company. It's a shout out for Kalu Crow. How was how was Destiny 2? I welcome all of you to the game. We'll be playing for a couple of minutes longer. We're trying to. Oh yeah, shoot, we're getting close to the end of things on my stream myself, Crow. I thank you for the raid. Raiders, if you got a raid and fade, I can dig it. Yeah, I get it, Dragon Rider, Upside Down Castle. It makes sense now. Kind of speculous. Good to see you. Ah, well, we learned auto-regen on a permanent basis with Kina. Where I'm seeing more squares on the ground, but let's see, let's try. It. We can jump down there, I'm sure. Ooh! Ooh! I got scared. Oh. But there's nothing happening. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I'll be paying the uh, kindness forward very shortly. Hmm. But we're here in Ibsen's castle. For better or for worse. Let's hit a save real fast, though. We got a bunch more treasures. All the ones I know of. And I believe I've gone everywhere I can. Uh, how about this, Dragon Rider? You seem to know the solution to that bottle puzzle or whatever it was down there. Uh, let's, ha let's have a hint. Let's have a hint. Also, this fight is... Oh, I keep forgetting to change the weapons. Yeah, let's just flee. What did you do there? I noticed you mentioned it was like a clock, but I'm not sure if that was in regards to that puzzle. And if it was, I certainly didn't understand it. The hint is that you left early. Okay. How did we get there? Um. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, through the front. Hey waifus, how you doing? How you doing, bear wolf? Good to see y'all. We got about 10 minutes left on the stream, I'm afraid, but, uh... 
It be would it be. We've had a good FF9 sesh tonight. Click, 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 click. That I left early. Thanksgiving was uh, was outstanding. It was uh, it's me and my girlfriend. The kids were with their mom, and uh, and we uh, we had a nice nice day. Watched Mystery Science Theater 3000 all day while I prepared a bunch of uh, foods from scratch. don't know. There's these things, which are being referred to as bottles, but look like H.R. Giger alien eggs, not gonna lie. Uh, which we can pick up and put down only on these platforms, which we otherwise can't interact with, nor can we leave the room with a bottle in hand as if to, you know go look for something to fill it with and come back. And as far as I know, both bottles produce the same result. The old bottle cannot be taken away without its content, which is also a very weird thing to say. What content? They seem to be empty. And if they have contents, I can't check it. To obtain my power, fight against the flow of time. Alright, so then we'll go counterclockwise. I guess it... It, uh... It, yeah, it decided to give it to me, huh? So I'm thinking just moving them in a counterclockwise pattern would be enough? part was bonkers. I don't know if I'm going to figure this out in time before I got a bail, which is in five minutes. Hmm. That is it? I figured it out? Amazing. Oh, shit. I, okay. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Alright, well, this bottle apparently has a thing in it now. All right, ancient aroma. Holy smokes! What's that ancient aroma item that radiates a mysterious light raises shadow elemental attack. So is that like just like a one-time buff or whatever? Hey, thanks for hanging out, Scarecrow. And yeah, I'm gonna haul booty to a save point because I gotta go. Also, <laughs> it's equipment. Oh. Ah, I see. Perfume. Aha! Very good. And ancient aroma. I see. Odin sword. Great Odin sword. Okay. Neat. 
Yeah, for sure, Egg Roll Buddy. I mean, I mean, I am enjoying the game. I'm not. I don't mean to to make it seem like I poo poo it when I talk about it in places. Uh. Oh man, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm going back to the Moogle inside. Uh, it's, there's one too many times I've exited a place only to run into like, haha, we're the enemy and we're here now to talk shit to you. All right, cool. Here we go. We're safe. Let's find out who we can raid. Yeah. Hey, forward the Calico raid, which was very nice. 